Oh, he's gone. Goodbye. Previously on half-scale Cybertruck, we managed to seam weld the entire body, get the motors mounted, add on the wheels, and uh, then we crashed it. <laughs> and then we did lots of sanding. In this episode, we've got a lot of work to do. We're going to start off by adding the pedals and the steering wheel to make it functional. Then, we're going to add in the fenders, the bumpers, and even the hubcaps to give it that true Cybertruck look. Finally, we'll paint the Cyber ATV and possibly even give the Cybertruck its first real test drive. I would like that plus have an edge on the left side so, you can't so I can't go like that. Okay. Kind of scary having it on your feet, legs, and side. Uh, I'm just saying, like the steering, like put the steering wheel in. <laughs> put your foot all the way in? <laughs> yes, I know it fits Bob, but. <laughs> well, well, just I mean, just imagine, like, sure, let's okay. say Elon Musk wants to visit us and see this. And then we, we get him to sit in the well, car. Well, he should have made like, a bigger full right, scale Elon, Tesla uh, just, just so that our half scale your, Tesla would be less small, okay? Squeeze your foot between <laughs> these uh, pointy, sharp things. You, you guys didn't that? consider this when you took on the project, did you? No. We absolutely considered this. No problem. Okay, but it also goes like this. That's fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> That's how to drive. We knew it was going to be you possible, but not comfortable. <laughs> it's only been three weeks. <laughs> It's actually not, not bad, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah. Definitely very it could be a lot worse. So the Cybertruck has a really futuristic steering wheel. Now, our EasyGo steering wheel looks very similar, we just need to chop the top and bottom off. Now that we have our new Cybertruck steering wheel, we gotta reassemble the shortened steering column. Our steering column is gonna sit all the way up here, which means we need a way to transfer the power all the way to the bottom kingpin. In order to do that, we're gonna put together a steering linkage that's gonna join from the top to the bottom in order to allow us to transfer the motion. gonna go right between our kingpin linkage and our steering rack and going to give us our steering authority. So all these steering components are in. We got all the batteries charged up and in the back of the cyber truck. Now the last step is put the last seat in and drive it. It's a bit tight. The driver has to get into the passenger seat first and then slide over to the driver's seat and then the passenger can get in after. All right, we're gonna throw up ignition. Do you want to come out the ignition switch? I get the ignition switch. This is terrifying. All right, you guys ready? Oh yeah. First drive the cyber truck. I thought I had to turn this on first. No, it breaks. Go. 
So, success. Success. We could go so much faster, but we don't have brakes. All right, so, Box is really excited to test drive it for the first time. Uh, it has all the capabilities of having real brakes in the back, uh, regenerative braking using the actual motors and speed controllers, but we haven't set any of that up, so there are zero brakes at the moment. But Bogdan wants to go, so Bogdan's going to go. Camera. It looks like a cyber truck. Alright, you guys ready? Alright, for it. <laughs> that was awesome. So I'd say that's a pretty successful first run. What I've noticed is we've have no limits on the uh, current acceleration of the motors. And if you actually gun it, the wheels just spin out. So you gotta actually control the acceleration at the moment to actually get it to accelerate as fast as possible. But I think that once we have brakes on this thing, it's gonna be so much fun. All right, so for the rear bumper, what we're actually doing is we're fabricating it out of multiple pieces. This is the underside that goes onto the cyber truck. And then we have this uh, metal piece that we made that's gonna hold the license plate that goes onto the back, followed by this big plate, which is nice and strong to hold our trailer hitch, which we'll be bolting on to the back of that. And then a final piece at the top, which is going to close up the entire bumper. Bottom scale. There we go. Yep. So this will be the very bottom plate in the undercarriage of our cyber truck bumper and then we're using box tube around the perimeter to offset it just like the real truck. Let's go build it. This line should go all the way down to there. Double check. All right, so to make some test windows for the Cybertruck, I'm actually gonna have to go back to the old shop where the old laser cutter is right now. So let's go there. All right, so to do some of the finer work on the Cybertruck, we're gonna come back to the old garage to use the laser cutter to do a custom glowing license plate that says Cybertruck. Let's get started. All right, so we have the license plate all loaded up in our laser cutter software, and we just have to send it to the laser cutter.
and that is the absolute max. It's pretty marginal uh, return on your investment over 600 with this motor. I was wondering if we went to 800 amps, would they spend? Put it put it up to 700 and we'll. <laughs> You're on the chain. Right. So that back room was spinning the whole time. Yeah. This one too. That's cool. Yeah, that was actually. Worth it. <laughs> after approximately six million hours of grinding on the outside, we're done. But now we have to do the inside for another six to 15,000 hours. So let's get right to it. We just finished grinding the interior of the Cybertruck. First, because the edges were sharp, but secondly, because we're gonna be vinyl wrapping the entire inside to give it that true Cybertruck aesthetic. Have you ever wondered how we learned how to make all these crazy engineering projects? While it's true that most of us did go to engineering school, a good 95% of our knowledge is just from the internet, which means you can learn how to be just like us, too. If you have access to the internet, which you do since you're watching this video, you have the world's best resource at your fingertips, the World Wide Web. Brilliant.org is one of those great internet resources and today's video sponsor. It's a problem-solving based website and app with super hands-on approach for learning a wide variety of topics, including STEM, each subject has storytelling, interactive challenges, code writing, and problems to solve to make sure you truly understand the topic. Anyone can read a textbook, but until you actually apply what you learn, you're not going to remember it, which is why Brilliant is so great at teaching technical concepts. To actively learn, go to brilliant.org hacksmith and sign up for free. And also, the first 200 people to sign up with that link will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. All right, the Cybertruck is almost done, and I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with what the team's accomplished. This has got to be one of our most polished projects yet, and I mean that both literally and figuratively. We really have pulled out all the stops on this build, and I think it's something we can all be super proud of. That being said, there are a few more things we need to do before it's completely done. Once it's finished, we're going to do the grand reveal and some serious real-life testing, including trying to out-tow a full-size F-150 and uh, equipping it with a giant pneumatic air cannon. Some of the other things we have left to finish are the interior, adding windows, the iPad app dashboard for a true Tesla feel, the LED lighting, the tailgate, complete with a ramp, and probably a bunch of other things that I'm forgetting. But mechanically, it's pretty much done. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on because this thing is almost ready to rock.